Alright guys, I finished up what was here. There's no sense in repeating myself and making this any longer than it has to be. Here I have my fives and my eights. <coughs> now, I could put them in the jig, the tightening jig, and put solder flux on each one individually. But to me that seems like such a waste of time. So I put flux in the pile and make sure they all get it. This, I believe, is a drill bit gauge or a wire gauge. So you can put the wire in and see what the uh, size is. I've taken the um, sizing off. There's usually a strip of paper here that has the different sizes for the different holes. With all the um, solder flux, it would just eat itself up anyway. Um, I have certain holes marked on here. Well, I know where they where they are. Almost had a little bit of dust or something on it. You're trying to use a hole that's smaller than the um, than the gauge. Than your jig. Depending on how tight you want it as to what hole you will use. Now you don't want the solder all the way down because you need room on there for it to actually go in the skin. Yes. Solder flux all the way down. You're not going to have a good needle. Now it drops down in. There's that much room. So I take it down to almost to the metal, because that will give it enough room to be in the skin. Now again, you don't want to um, move the needles across this jig, trying to get it in the hole. You will bend the tips. When you're done, completely done, before you bar them, put them on bars, you need to take a look with a, um, a loop and look at the, each tip, look at each needle to make sure you didn't bend any. Again, I'm making this look good and easy, but this is really one of the harder parts, getting it in that hole because you can bend that tip very easily. Now, like I say, I do this once or twice a week for 11 or 12 years, so I've gotten good at it. Now, of course, when I go to do the eights, I'm going to be using a bigger hole than I use on the fives. Um, now, see, if you're going through an apprenticeship, you'd be told what holes to use. For those of you who aren't in an apprenticeship, you're just going to have to find out which one works best for you. Um, you don't want it too tight but you don't want it too loose. You need to find a happy medium. And that's going to take a little bit of trial and error for you. So I use a five needle 
is an outline. A lot of ow, motherfucker. A lot of guys will use a three. I tighten my fives down to the size of a three. Motherfucker. Yeah. 